Hello everyone and welcome to the 2020-2021 Otter Valley Union High School Night of Excellence. My name is Jeff Jeske, your MC and also a longtime teacher in the social studies department here at the school. Before we begin this awesome event of adventure and travel, wherever you are, can you please stand up, remove your hats, and recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Tonight, we will celebrate a long-standing Otter Valley tradition in honoring those students in grades 9 through 12 that demonstrated excellence in our classrooms, as well as demonstrating perseverance and a desire for continuous improvement throughout this very non-traditional school year. Tonight, we dedicate this program to our graduating class, the class of 2021. Without further ado, I would like to formally introduce our guest speaker. It is my honor to introduce you to Ben Wemet. Ben graduated in 2008 from Keene State College with degrees in Sociology and American Studies. And he has reflected back over the years. He realized that now retired Otter Valley teacher, Judy Dardek, definitely played a huge role in both of his degree choices. Ben wanted to do something for a career where he could see a direct impact on the people he works with every day. Ben is currently working for UVM in the state of Vermont as an assistive technology access specialist. Ben assists people with disabilities and their families to come up with tools and strategies to eliminate barriers in their life. He helps people make the impossible possible each and every day. His job is to break down barriers and give people hope. In 2020, just prior to the pandemic, Ben traveled to the Assistive Technology Industry Association's annual conference. While there, he was selected out of hundreds of applicants from all across the country to give a lecture on putting rapport first. Basically looking at the whole person when you're working with them as an individual, not just their disability, but who they are in their entirety. Ben, we couldn't be prouder of you and your determination to be a force to help others. Hello, everybody. My name is Ben Wubet. As uh, Mr. Jeske introduced me, I'm an assistive technology specialist uh, for the Vermont Assistive Technology Program. And 19 years ago, I crossed the stage at Outer Valley as a graduate. At that time, I had no idea what I was going to do with my life. I thought I had a high school diploma, I was going to get a job in computers somewhere and be a nerd in a room full of servers writing code, fixing computers, or creating the next, at, my, at that time, the next MySpace. Um, little did I know that that summer, I would take a summer internship that would change the course of my life forever. Um, I began working with the Vermont Assistive Technology Program where I'm actually working now 
And although I did work with technology and computers and all that stuff that I thought my path was going to put in front of me when I was a high school student, I realized something very quickly. Computers were easy to work with when they did what they were supposed to, but when there was an issue, you couldn't talk, you couldn't work with them to figure out what that barrier was. But what I did learn is that when you were talking with people, you could do that. When you were listening to their stories, when you were listening to where they've been, where they are, and where they're going, you can take all that information and you can make a real big difference in the world. So slowly but surely, I began to change my path, change my journey. I um, enrolled in Castleton State College at the time, which is now Castleton University. And I'll be honest, at the time, I wasn't the most academically gifted student. I was actually placed in a program um, for students that were going to need extra support so that they could really uh, be set up to succeed. Um, that first semester at Castleton State or Castleton University was a real challenge and it was a real eye-opener for me. But slowly but surely, I got the hang of it and my, my path, again, continued to change. I, um, I, through the next five years, I transferred schools, um, went to a place that was ultimately more accessible, and had a, had a world that at the time was more open for me. Um, I experienced things that I had never done before independently. I lived by myself, which you are all are gonna do. Um, I had real jobs, I ran student clubs, did all the did all the college things, had an active social life. Sometimes admittedly it was a little too active, but um, I figured out how to balance that. Um, then I got out into the real working world and maybe I was just a little bit cocky. I had always been one of those that had, you know, pushed myself and exceeded expectations. But just like when I got out of high school, it was a real eye opener. I quickly realized that although I had a good foundation under me, I still had a lot left to learn. I needed to figure out how to take constructive criticism, how to work in a group setting, and how to do things that, again, I had the foundation for, taught to me at Otter Valley and in college, but I needed to learn by experience. I needed to do things like, I needed to learn to admit when I was wrong, to admit when I didn't know how to do something, to admit when to ask for help. Um, I'm sure some of you today some of you graduates and some of you younger folks are probably thinking, oh, I've got some teachers and some faculty and some staff that help me, you know, get here, but their job is done. You know, I'll never, I'll never see them again. Or maybe, maybe some of you are thinking, you know, I'm 18 now, I graduate in a week or so. Um, you know, I'm on my own. My parents are, you know, they'll still be a part of my life, but I'm going to be my own boss. My biggest advice to you is you're always going to need help. It doesn't matter if you're a freshman here at award site. It doesn't matter if you're a graduating senior or if you're somebody like me at 36 years old. You still need help and you still need support no matter what role you're in. Life is a weird journey but it's also a fun journey. I want to talk a little bit about my little corner of the lunchroom here at Otter Valley. We were, we were definitely the misfit table. We weren't jocks, 
we weren't the overly bright kids that were definitely, you know, definitely had a clear path. We were a bunch of misfits that just sort of all fit together. You know, some of us liked school, some of us didn't. Some of us, again, had a clear college path. But I was thinking about our little group this morning. In that little group, we have a world-renowned baker who's uh, been won awards and won reality TV shows. We have somebody who is uh, the bureau chief of videography for a, 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 a news agency out of Maine. We have another person who um, owns a transportation company. We have video game developers. We have people that work in the all sorts of industries. Again, you may not know what your path is tonight. That's fine. Just be willing to accept the journey that you're about to go on. There's going to be some good things. There's going to be some positive things, but there's going to be some challenges too. And don't be afraid to face those challenges, but don't, don't only face them, embrace them. Because trust me, they will teach you lessons and you will go places. If you embrace the bad as well as the good, that will bring you further than you ever thought possible. Just strap yourself in because life is sure a great ride if you let it. Thank you and have a great night. Thanks to Ben for a wonderful and empowering speech to our future Otter Valley graduates and the recipients of tonight's awards. And now for the awards that you've all been waiting for. Our first award is the Sapiens Award. Thank you. We are exceptionally pleased to continue the Sapiens Award for a Night of Excellence. This idea for this award originated from a faculty member who wanted to acknowledge students who have made a significant improvement with their dedication to their studies. These students have decided to recognize education's importance in their lives. The word sapiens is from the present participle of the Latin verb sapier, meaning to know. In the participle form, sapiens means knowing, a continuing process for acquiring knowledge, as in the label Homo sapiens. Students were nominated this year from our faculty for their demonstration of commitment to their education. It is beyond remarkable and with great pride that we acknowledge how many students we wish to recognize this year for their marked improvement during hybrid learning during a pandemic. Our faculty has identified 11 students. This year's deserving winners are Hunter Capek Reed, Levi Cram, Zachary Gilmore, Crystal Jackson, Morgan Jones, Sarah Kozlowskis, Sean McGee, Devin Pitts, Carly Rorda, Travis Smith, Elijah Tucker Bryant. Congratulations to you all. And for our next award. Thank you.
The next award is the Clarkson University Leadership and Achievement Awards. The Clarkson Leadership Award and Achievement Award are substantial scholarships to Clarkson University over four years. In March of this year, qualifying juniors were requested to apply for selection. The students must be a member of the junior class, have a GPA of 90 or better, be involved in extracurricular activities, and be leaders amongst their peers. The student's areas of academic interest must be in either business, engineering, science, or the liberal arts. This award is the highest award and honor at Clarkson University. Otter Valley is pleased to have selected two students for this scholarship. The winner of the Clarkson Leadership Award is Anna Beth Kerr. The second winner of the Achievement Award is Hayden Bernhardt. Congratulations to both of you. And now for our next award. Thank you. We have the John Hopkins Book Award. We are very pleased to announce that we have a new book award this year. The John Hopkins Book Award is a prestigious award offered to an exceptional junior at each of the participating secondary schools. The award celebrates the spirit of John Hopkins University whose alumni populate the upper echelons of many disciplines, including literature, the arts, medicine, the sciences, international affairs, the social sciences, and engineering. The awardee receives a book from the John Hopkins University Press, the oldest university publisher in North America. The book offered this year will be So the Story Goes, 25 Years of the John Hopkins Short Fiction Series, edited by John T. Irwin and Jean McGarry. We are honored and pleased to have the first Otter Valley recipient of the John Hopkins Book Award be Olivia DePady. Congratulations, Olivia. Hi, my name is Jason Davis, and I'm the Pittsburgh Fire Department Cadet Advisor. And I'm here tonight to recognize a few of our cadets who are also students here at OV. Now, these students are 14 to 17 year old students. And uh, with our program, they get an introduction to firefighting. Now, the program is uh, hands-on as well as academic-based. And so they're having to do some extra work. And uh, they give of themselves quite a bit. They attend calls um, and try to balance school and, and the fire department. And they do a wonderful job. So we'd like to recognize the fallen students here tonight. We'd like to recognize Jacob Markowski, Connor Lucier, Aliyah Fairbrother, Shelby Selinski, and Gavin Perry. Now, Gavin Perry happens to be our Cadet of the Year. Now, the Cadet of the Year is not the person with the best grades or the best attendance. It's just the all-around cadet for that year, the model cadet that everybody would be looking for. Now Gavin's been with our program for quite some time, and when I think about Gavin, Gavin is always there, whether it's for class, whether it's to help an instructor, whether it's on a call, 
And, and the thing about Gavin is he's balancing school and sports and the fire department, and he seems to be able to, to roll it all into one. And, and if you need him to, he's like, well, I get out of practice at uh, you know 6.45. I think I can be to the station by 7.15. And so, Gavin Perry, it's a pleasure to have you on our program, and uh, I'm very proud to call you the Cadet of the Year this year. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Tom Kilpeck. I'm the fire chief in Brandon, Vermont. I'd like to recognize Garrett Trask and Bradley Danforth for their service to the Brandon Fire Department over the last year. Even throughout this pandemic, they have been uh, working diligently to perform their tasks as firefighters on the Brandon Fire Department. It was some 27 years ago when I myself stood here on this stage receiving this award. So the Brandon Fire Department would like to thank Bradley and Garrett for their service to the, fire, to the Brandon Fire Department and the public that we serve over the last year. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Meredith McCartney and I will be presenting several of the special awards that are part of the program tonight. My first award is the St. Lawrence Book Award. The St. Lawrence University Book Award recognizes a member of the junior class who has consistently demonstrated academic success while establishing themselves as an integral and committed member of our community. The award is twofold. With the presentation of the book, The Day the World Came to Town, 9-11 in Gander, Newfoundland by Jim Dairde, and also comes with a $4,000 scholarship to St. Lawrence University over four years. Maggie Loisel is this year's winner. Congratulations, Maggie. My next award is the Vermont Wellesley Book Club Award. Each year, I enjoy presenting the Wellesley Book Club Award. As the daughter of a Wellesley alum, I respect two outstanding qualities my mother gained there. One is an insatiable passion for knowledge that reaches far beyond the academic walls of Wellesley College. And the other is a tremendous confidence as a woman and as a leader. This year's Vermont Wellesley Book Club Award goes to a junior who demonstrates the future markings of these same qualities. Congratulations, Anna Beth Kerr. The St. Anselm Book Award. We are pleased to present the St. Anselm Book Award at our valley. The criteria set for the St. Anselm Book Award include the following. A member of the junior class with demonstrated academic success, exceptional qualities in the area of civic engagement, and aspirations for continued education. The recipient of this honor will be given half-truths, what's right and what's wrong, with cliches you and I live by. This book holds special meaning to St. Anselm because it was written by a faculty member Professor Montague Brown of the Philosophy Department. Alice Keith is the 2021 winner of the St. Anselm Book Award. The UVM Citizen Scholar Award. Putting knowledge into action for the betterment of humanity is of the foundation of a University of Vermont education. The Citizen Scholar Book Award celebrates high school students around the U.S. who demonstrate that spirit of citizenship and scholarship. They may have campaigned for a cause, founded a community action group, or conducted research aiding social progress. These students are the movers, shakers, and change makers of the world. Students selected as a citizen scholar will become a member of a cohort group of student leaders. Scholars will also be gifted a book which speaks to the themes of citizen engagement, the power of individual voices, and the importance of democracy. 
Please know that this is the very first time that an Otter Valley student has been selected for this honor. While we have nominated students previously, UVM did not select them. This prestigious award is highly selective. For her past two years of work with What's the Story, the Vermont Young People's Social Action Team, and actions to help create an online group through VTVLC, we are very pleased to honor Olivia Keith with the UVM Citizen Scholar Award. Next, I would like to recognize some um, students who contribute to our community through their service. This is the portion of the program where we recognize our students who have volunteered in a variety of places in the community. While I have some students to recognize by name, I would like to thank all of our students for their dedication to their families and our community. We have so many students who care for their younger siblings, do extra chores around the house, help on their family farm, work at our grocery stores, continue to be the voice for their class as boss officers, encourage their classmates, and turn in their schoolwork during the pandemic. Please turn to the student in your home and give them a hug and a thank you from us. The Brandon Rescue Squad would like to thank Cassidy Carvey for her professional service and dedication to our community as a volunteer first responder. The Pittsburgh First Response would also like to thank Cassidy as she volunteers for both organizations. Truly amazing. Cassidy is the dedicated person you are grateful to see in an emergency. New for us to recognize this year are OV students who serve as Vermont Civil Air Patrol cadets. The Vermont Wing is part of the Northeast region and has senior and cadet members in ready to serve Civil Air Patrol missions across the state and beyond. These cadets are trained and at the ready to assist in the event of emergencies. We are so grateful for the commitment to our community and state. Please help me applaud and thank Kelsey Adams and Bryce Connington. The McClure Library. Elizabeth Sulia of the McClure Library would like to recognize Dana DiPietro as the only high school volunteer for the past year at the McClure Library. Throughout the pandemic, she came over to help pack craft kits for children, book bags, and much more. She's an invaluable volunteer, and the library truly appreciates her dedication during these crazy times. We profoundly thank you, Dana. Good evening. My name is Lori Robert. I'm the Director of Guidance at Otter Valley, and I'm very pleased to be here to award the following certificates. The first for this evening, the St. Michael's Book Award. The St. Michael's College Book Award recognizes two outstanding juniors who demonstrate a commitment to volunteerism and leadership in their community, qualities that fit in perfectly with St. Michael's strong tradition of academics and service. The book these students will be given is entitled, First They Killed My Father, A Daughter of Cambodia Remembers by Laun Ung, a recognized author and graduate of St. Michael's College. Congratulations go to Colette Boynton and Kieran Williams. The Suffolk University Book Award. Suffolk University, founded in 1906 by Gleason L. Archer, has been woven into Boston's thriving urban landscape, offering a truly immersive environment in which to live, learn, and explore. The book awarded by Suffolk University is A Short History of Boston, written by a current faculty mem member, Robert J. Allison. Suffolk University is honored to wish this student, good luck and continued success in the remainder of her high school career. Congratulations go to Joanna Ray. The Harvard Book Award. 
This award is provided to Otter Valley by Carrie Becker, a strong supporter of our school and our community. She's also a graduate of Harvard University. The Harvard University Book Award is unique in the world of book awards. The criteria is not about choosing the most academically distinguished student, rather the award is to encourage, honor, and applaud a member of the junior class who's come from behind academically and who is fully engaged in his or her education. It makes us proud to recognize that this student is well on his way to becoming a scholar. We are delighted to recognize Dylan Stevens Clark for this honor. Congratulations, Dylan. The Yale Book Award. The Yale Book Award, um, for the fifth year at Otter Valley, we are able to offer this award. This award comes us to us through the Ch Vermont chapter of Yale alumni who approved Otter Valley as a distinguished school worthy of this honor. Yale prides itself as a school of both tradition and innovation, of personal achievement and public service. It is the ability to engage in your education in order to improve not only yourself, but the world around you. We are very pleased to have selected Gunnar Tinsman for the Yale Book Award. Congratulations, Gunnar. And finally, Hobie. The Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Award is given annually to selected high school sophomores who've been invited to attend an all expense paid leadership weekend. This year, however, the program will happen virtually rather than in person. We would like to congratulate the two students who were selected to represent Otter Valley on the follow following criteria. One, a demonstrated ability to lead. Two, an expressed sensitivity and concern for others. And three, a desire to learn and share their knowledge. We are very pleased to have selected Grace O'Connell and Elena Politano as this year's Hobie recipients. Good evening, Otters. Hope you've enjoyed your night of adventure so far. I am Cameron Perda, here to present the ELA Awards for Excellence in our high school English classes. Thank you. The envelope, please. First, we have the award winners for Advanced American Studies. We will start with honorable mention. Brittany Jackson. Olivia Keith, Frazier Pierpont, and Joanna Joe Buckets Ray. Congratulations. And now, for the Advanced American Studies Excellence Awards, we have Marissa Connors and Anna Kerr. Congratulations to all of our winners. Next, we have the awards for AP Literature and Composition. We will start with honorable mention. First, we have Maddie O'Connell. Congratulations. Next, we have the awards for excellence in AP Literature and Composition. First, Sydney Singh. Congratulations. And finally, Gracie Coolidge. Next, we have the awards for cinema. We will start with the Distinguished Awards, which goes to Hayden, Young Beast, Bernhardt, and Gunnar Tinsman. Moving along, we have the awards for excellence in cinema, which goes to the following. Marissa Connors, Jaden Grace, Emily Paduto. Congratulations to all the winners. Moving along, we have the winners for effective speaking. We'll start with distinguished. Goes to Olivia DePady, Kieran Williams, and Isaac Eastman. Thank you. And now, excellence in effective speaking goes to Tamar Foster and Casey McMullen, as well as Nick Parker. Thank you. Moving along to English 9. We'll start with honorable mention. We have Clara Safone, Bryce Connington, Aiden Decker, Max Derby, and Luciano Falca, followed by Crystal Jackson, 
Owen Thomas and Savannah Mitchell, all the honorable mention English 9 winners. Next, we have the excellence in English 9, which goes to Linnea Faulkner, Ella French, Hannah Greeno, and Abigail Hayes. Congrats to all of our English 9 winners. Next, we have Literature 10. We'll start with Honorable Mention. Emily, the Captain Kittler. Elena Politano, the Pride of Pearl Street. River Putnam, and Travis Smith. And now, the awards for excellence in Literature 10. We have Olivia Minor, Eliza, excuse me, Eliza Norford, Riley Laporte, Sydney Gallo, and Ella Bertowski. Congratulations. Finally, we have Literature 12. We'll start with honorable mention. Goes to Dylan Gaborio and Jessica Malbin. Congratulations. And now for the Excellence Award in Literature 12. Goes to Casey McMullen. We will end with the awards in Writing Workshop. We have Honorable Mention, Trista Santor. And Excellence goes to Kaylee Frary and Eliza Norford. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Next, we have the English Four Year Department Award. This student has demonstrated not only tremendous work ethic, but outstanding scholarship for their four years in high school English. And I could not be more proud to say the award goes to Gracie Coolidge. Congratulations, Gracie. Outstanding achievement. Finally, we have the Student Sage Award. The Student Sage Award. Nominees should be exceptional high school students who are engaged within their community, who maintained a B average or better in their academic coursework, and the student who makes the school an exciting, creative, and engaging place of learning. Should the recipient choose to attend Russell Sage College, the student will have a scholarship for $15,000 a year. This year's Audubon recipient of the Student Sage Award is Marissa Connors. Congratulations, Marissa. Good evening, Otter Valley community. I'm Anthony Peduto, and I'm here tonight to recognize our amazing Otter students who have, during this, these difficult times this year, uh, managed to persevere and have significant accomplishments in mathematics. At this time, I'd like to read those students. Emily Kittler, distinguished in Algebra One. Mason Bushy, distinguished in Algebra One. Luciano Falco, excellence in Algebra One. Delaney Fielder, distinguished in Algebra One. Travis Smith, excellence in Algebra One. Abby Adamson, distinguished in Algebra Two. Andrew Kenyon, excellence in Algebra Two. Riley Laporte, excellence in Algebra Two. Emily Peduto, distinguished in Algebra Two. Grace Coolidge, Excellence in Calculus. Brian Thornton, Distinguished in Calculus. Olivia DePady, Excellence in Trigonometry. Nick Parker, Distinguished in Trigonometry. Max Derby, Distinguished in Geometry. Wyatt Fitzgerald, Distinguished in Geometry. Caden Smuth, Excellence in Geometry. Jaden Ittinger, Excellence in Geometry. Toby Mills, Excellence in Integrated 2. Morgan Jones, Excellence in Integrated 1. Margaret Rainey, Appreciation in Integrated 1. McKenna Dick, Distinguished in Integrated 2. Grace O'Connell, Excellence in Integrated 2. Jacob Stevens, Most Improved in Integrated 3. Grace Coolidge, Excellence in Precalculus. Mia Politano, Distinguished in pre-calculus. Peyton Chismore, excellence in traditional math. And Elena Seldrick, distinguished in traditional math. I would like to now announce the four-year mathematics department award. The 
four-year department award in mathematics goes to Grace Coolidge. I am now going to present to you the Society of Women Engineers. The North Country section of the Society of Women Engineers acknowledges the accomplishments of young women who have attained high achievement in science and mathematics. Award recipients must have completed three years of science and three years of mathematics with distinction. They must also be active citizens of the school and or the community. Recipients are eligible to apply for scholarship opportunities through the Society of Women Engineers for the 2021 academic year. For the highest honor, Olivia DePay. For high honor, Alice Keith. And for honor, Marissa Connors. I would like to now announce the Rensselaer Medal Scholarship. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute congratulates you on being awarded the Rensselaer Medal. Founded in 1824, Rensselaer is the oldest technological institution in North America. It is located in the capital region of New York State. This prestigious award has been awarded since 1916 to one student in every given high school and is designed to recognize that students' strengths and success in the fields of mathematics and science Medalists who apply are admitted to and enroll at Rensselaer are awarded a scholarship worth $30,000 per year. We hope that you will consider a future with RPI. Congratulations to Olivia DePady as this year's medalist. Good evening, I'm Josh Hart, representing the Musulamu Center. For those of you that are unfamiliar with the program, it is an opportunity for students to challenge themselves emotionally, physically, and academically in Vermont's storied out of doors. I am proud to honor the following students with this year's award. The award for excellence in the Lower House Muslim 9 program, Mason Bushy and Simon Martin. For most improved, Cole DeZorda. In our upper house program, I am honored to award Kendra Millett and for most improved, Tucker Babcock. Good evening and welcome to the Night of Excellence 2021. My name is Sarah Blow and I am the department chair for the career department here at Otter Valley. I am honored to be here this evening to present the following awards to some of our most distinguished students. This year, the business department has chosen to honor the following students. For 21st century computer applications, for excellence, Aiden Decker, Padua Gamba, Autumn Meza, Joanna Ray, McKenna White. For excellence in entrepreneurship, Bryn Blanchard, Hannah Greeno, Alyssa McRae. For excellence in ELOs, which are extended learning opportunities for our students, we acknowledge Olivia DePady, Sydney Gallo, and Eliza Norford. In multimedia design, for excellence, we would like to acknowledge Bryn Blanchard, Mason Bushy, McKenna Dick, Delaney Fielder, Crystal Jackson, and Derek Lee. We would also like to acknowledge for achievement in multimedia design, Jared Mills. And finally, one other excellence in multimedia design, LeJay O'Connor. In personal finance this year, we would like to honor for distinguished performance, Aiden Decker, Noah Drew, Abigail Lanfear, Emily Peduto, Olivia Sheldrick, and Aiden Sumner. For excellence in personal finance, we would like to acknowledge Sydney Gallo, Jaden Grace, and Morgan White. Real careers, 
Excellence, Casey McMullen, and Shelby Saliski. For sports and entertainment marketing, for excellence, we acknowledge Aiden Decker, Max Derby, Alex Philo, Frazier Pierpont, Evan Thomas, and Owen Thomas. VTBLC, Vermont Virtual Learning Cooperative. Acknowledgement for Geometry, Most Improved, Olivia Keith. And GSA, Excellence, Olivia Keith. Congratulations to all of you from the business department and thank you for your hard work. For family and consumer science, and this also encompasses our health department, this year, the following students are being acknowledged. For excellence in food lab, Hayden Bernhardt, Brooke Bertrand, Sierra Cormany, Caitlin Lee, LeJay O'Connor, Frazier Pierpont, Evan Thomas, and Brian Thornton. For appreciation in Foods Lab, Hannah Greeno, Crystal Jackson, Olivia Keith, Andrew Kenyon. And the health awards this year are all for excellence and honor the following students. Alice Keith, Anna Beth Kerr, Anna Lee, Savannah Mitchell, Lily Morgan, Cadence Muth, Elena Politano, Joanna Ray, and Owen Thomas. Congratulations and thank you for your hard work through family and consumer science. The physical education department would like to honor the following students this year. For excellence in personal fitness, Kelsey Adams. Most improved in PE, Abby Adamson. For excellence in PE, Linnea Faulkner, Andrew Kenyon, Olivia Minor, and Evan Thomas. Thank you for all of your hard work through the physical education department. Technical education. The technical education department would like to honor the following students this year. For industrial technology, achievement, Keith Carrera. Distinguished, Isaac Eastman and Travis Smith. And for excellence in industrial technology, Ryan Snow. For STEAM, Motors, Myths, and History, Alexis Hayes, for achievement. Thomas Politano, most improved. And in woodworking, Ross Fisk, for appreciation. Derek Lee, distinguished. Jacob Markowski, most improved. Savannah Mitchell, excellence. Gavin Perry, achievement. And Casey Sue Thompson, excellence. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you for your hard work through the Technical Education Department. Finally, we have a special award that we would like to offer and acknowledge this evening. This award is through the Rochester Institute of Technology. The Rochester Institute of Technology offers two awards annually for juniors. One is an Innovation and Creativity Award. The other is a Computing Medal. These awards come with a scholarship for $7,000 annually at RIT, should the student choose to enroll at that college. This award honors the student's accomplishments in these respective areas and their involvement as a member of our community. We are delighted to honor Tyson Stickney 
as the winner of the Computing and IT Medal. Congratulations to you, thank you. Welcome, my name is Rachel Valcour and I will be presenting the Science Department Awards. Jaden Pope for Excellence in Advanced Anatomy and Physiology. Brianna Stevens Clark for Excellence in Advanced Anatomy and Physiology. Grace Coolidge for Excellence in AP Biology. Olivia DePady for Excellence in AP Biology. Caleb Chisimore for Excellence in Biology. Matthew Greeno for Excellence in Biology. Rachel Kemp for Excellence in Biology. Alyssa McRae for Excellence in Biology. Gavin Perry for Excellence in Biology. Casey Sue Thompson for Excellence in Biology. Linnea Faulkner for Excellence in BSCS Biology. Kaylee Frary for Excellence in BSCS Biology. Ella French for Excellence in BSCS Biology. Padua Gamba for Excellence in BSCS Biology. Alexis Hayes for Excellence in BSCS Biology. Sally O'Brien for Excellence in BSCS Biology. Ryden Richardson for Excellence in BSCS Biology. And Olivia Sheldrick for Excellence in BSCS Biology. Abigail Adamson for Excellence in Chemistry. Eliza Norford for Excellence in Chemistry. Sierra Cormany for Excellence in Geophysics. Crystal Jackson for Excellence in Geophysics. Derek Lee for Excellence in Geophysics. Caleb Reynolds for Most Improved in Geophysics. Owen Thomas for Excellence in Geophysics. And Connor Van Nostrand for Most Improved in Geophysics. Olivia DePady for Excellence in Physics, and Kieran Williams for Excellence in Physics. Olivia Keith for Excellence in Practical Chemistry. Kevin O'Dell, an appreciation for Best Attendance in Practical Chemistry. Sydney Singh for Excellence in Practical Chemistry. And Andy McInerney for Appreciation for Best Attendance in Practical Chemistry. Congratulations. And the four-year Science Department Award goes to Grace Coolidge. Congratulations, Grace. The Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award. Recognition as the winner of the Bausch & Lomb Science Award is an outstanding honor and makes the recipient a part of a select tradition at the University of Rochester. This award is given out to a member of the junior class in recognition of high achievement and rigor in our science department. This award is now in its 85th year of tradition at the university where the recipient is eligible for $10,000 per year scholarship. I am pleased to congratulate Olivia DePady for this award. Congratulations, Olivia. The OVTA Good Citizenship Awards. The Otter Valley Teacher Association selects two students from grades nine through 12 on the basis of being an all-around good citizen. These students are not necessarily selected because of having the highest academic average, but on the basis of civility, enthusiasm for learning, willingness to help others, and all qualities which make them a pleasure to teach. It is a very difficult choice to make every year. We are all so very grateful to the many students who are such good citizens in our Otter community. This year, more than ever, we appreciate all of our students who have shown over and over again a commitment to their education and to each other through all that we have adapted to this year. 
We appreciate you and thank you so much. The 2021 OVTA awardees are Savannah Mitchell and Abigail Hayes, Jaden Grace and Bryn Blanchard, Colette Boyton and Evan Thomas, and Rachel Kemp and Bonnie Moore. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you. And uh, enjoy your adventures to come. And now, on behalf of Mr. Hall, Mrs. Callahan, and myself, I am proud to announce the awards for the Social Studies Department this year. Thank you. The first class is for Advanced American History I. Excellence goes to Abigail Adamson. Excellence goes to Brooke Bertrand. Excellence goes to Sydney Gallo. Excellence goes to Padua Gamba. Excellence goes to Riley Laporte. Excellence goes to Cadence Muth. Excellence goes to Eliza Norford. Excellence goes to Emily Paduda. Next, we have awards for Advanced American Studies. First, Excellence goes to Hayden Bernhardt. Excellence also goes to Olivia DePady. Excellence also goes to Gunnar Tinsman. Excellence also goes to Kieran Williams. Great job. Next, we have awards for Advanced Behavioral Science. Excellence to Marissa Connors. Excellence for Jamie Duby Bordeaux. Excellence to Olivia Keith. Excellence for Anna Beth Kerr. Excellence for Gunnar Tinsman. And next, our next class is American History One. Excellence to Kelsey Adams. Most improved goes to Alex De Janeiro. Excellence goes to Morgan Landisman. Excellence goes to Olivia Minor. Most improved goes to Tyler Rorda. Most improved also goes to Travis Smith. Congratulations to all of you. Next, we have American History II. We have excellence to Cooper Johnson. Most improved to Sean McGee. Excellence goes to Toby Mills. Excellence goes to Shelby Soliski. Back to behavioral science. We next have two awards. First, most improved to Sion Peaks. Most improved to Madison Queneville. And now, to Global Studies II. We have excellence to Elizabeth Atherton. We have most improved to Alec Bolio. We have excellence to Bryce Connaughton. Excellence to Sierra Cormany. Excellence to Aiden Decker. Excellence to Max Derby. Excellence to Linnea Faulkner. Most improved goes to Zachary Gilmore. Also in Global Studies, excellence to Hannah Greeno. 
Excellence to Abigail Hayes. Excellence to Baker LaRock. Most improved goes to Simon Martin. Most improved goes to Savannah Mitchell. Excellence goes to Sally O'Brien. Most improved goes to Caleb Reynolds. Excellence goes to Owen Thomas. Excellence goes to Isaiah Wood. Congratulations to all of you. And now, for our next award from our social studies department, I am pleased to announce this year's four-year department award. The person, this person, has taken multiple elected electives within the social studies department and has displayed excellence in all of them. This year, the Social Studies Department is proud to announce that this year's award goes to Grace Coolidge. Congratulations, Gracie. And now, we are pleased to announce the University of Rochester's Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award. This award was named in honor of two Rochester's most significant pioneers of social justice. It recognizes the recipient of this award for his or her commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues. The nominee becomes part of a select tradition at Rochester. Should the nominee choose to attend Rochester University, he or she will be considered for a $40,000 scholarship over four years. We are happy to announce this year's recipient as Hayden Bernhardt. Congratulations, Hayden. Way to go. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jim Avery, and I have the distinct pleasure of uh, giving the Visual and Performing Arts Awards this evening. I am standing in for the wonderful Dr. Seacott, who could not be here this evening. So for this evening, the awards for fine arts. Fine Arts, Paige Bissett for Excellence in Advanced Studio, Kaylee Frary for Excellence in Advanced Studio, Ryan Richardson for Excellence in Advanced Studio, John Woodbury for Excellence in Advanced Studio, Olivia DePady for Excellence in Art Workshop, Cooper Johnson for Excellence in Art Workshop, Riley Laporte Excellence in Art Workshop. Trista Santor for Excellence in Art Workshop. Adriana Bion, Excellence in Ceramics. Lucas Klein, Distinguished in Ceramics. Dylan Stevens Clark, for Most Improved in Ceramics. John Woodbury, for Appreciation in Ceramics. Zach Gilmore for Excellence in Intro to Studio, Abigail Hayes for Excellence in Intro to Studio, Sally O'Brien for Excellence in Intro to Studio, Inla J. O'Connor for Excellence in Intro to Studio, Nicholas Parker, Excellence in Intro to Studio, Joanna Ray for Excellence for Intro to Studio, Madison Wiggins for Excellence in Intro to Studio, and Jared Mills, honorable mention, printmaking. And now for the awards for the World Languages Department. 
in world languages. Chloe Veripogeny for most improved French one. Jaden Eihinger for achievement in French one. Derek Lee, achievement in French one. Jojo Muha for excellence in French one. Haley Shaw, excellence in French one. Elizabeth Atherton, excellence in French two. Matthew Cole, excellence in French two. Linnea Faulkner, excellence in French too. Alexis Holbrook Duval, achievement in French too. Savannah Mitchell, excellence in French too. Kaylee Selleck, excellence in French too. Elena Sheldrick, honorable mention, French too. Adriana Watkins, honorable mention, French too. Kelsey Adams, Excellence in French 3. Jaden Grace, Honorable Mention, French 3. Sabelle Hull, Honorable Mention, French 3. Caitlin Lee, Excellence, French 3. Genevieve Mott, Excellence, French 3. Morgan White, Excellence, French 3. Maggie Loisel, Excellence, French 4. Baker LaRock, Achievement in Spanish 1, Abigail Adamson, Excellence in Spanish 3, Riley Laporte, Excellence in Spanish 3, Alyssa McCray, Excellence in Spanish 3, Olivia Minor, Excellence in Spanish 3, Cadence Muth, Excellence in Spanish 3, Eliza Norford, Excellence in Spanish 3, Grace Coolidge, Excellence, Spanish 5. Lily Ann Swayze, Excellence in Spanish 1. Sierra Cormody, Excellence in Spanish 2. Ella French, Excellence in Spanish 2. Abigail Hayes, Excellence in Spanish 2. The four-year department award goes to Grace Coolidge. The Music Awards. Kelsey Adams for Excellence in High School Band. Abigail Adamson, Excellence in High School Band. Olivia DePady, Achievement, All New England Band. Olivia DePady, Achievement, All Eastern Band. Olivia DePady, Achievement, Patrick Gilmore Band Award. Zoe Elliott, Excellence in High School Band. Abigail Hayes, Excellence in High School Band. Autumn Meza, Excellence in Senior Chorale. Autumn Meza, Excellence in Senior Chorale. And Candace Muth, Excellence in Senior Chorale. The awards for theater. Caleb Blanchard for most improved in theater arts. Rowan Bunker, achievement, acting and film. Noah Drew, achievement, acting and film. Glory Parks, achievement, acting and film. David Williams, most improved, acting and film. I would like to take a, a, this opportunity to thank Meredith McCartney for the uh, overwhelming amount of organization that it takes to put on this evening's presentation. So I thank Meredith and uh, for all of your work. Thank you. Lastly, I would like to say a few thank yous for this production. I would like to take a moment to say some special thank yous for the production of this Adventure Awaits You of a Night of Excellence 20. 21. First, to our wonderful MC, Jeff Jeske. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm and zest for this event. I would also like to thank Katie Davis and Shar Wessing, who are quietly behind the scenes organizing the awards, checking on every detail. 
Students can pick up their awards in the front office from Mrs. Davis, and you can do that starting tomorrow. I would also like to thank Jeff Hull for agreeing, again, to add to his workload with this additional production in his school year. Mr. Hull's formidable talents in this project make it the professional production that you are experiencing. A huge thank you to him for filming, editing, creating, directing, and being enthusiastic all the way through. I would like to thank all of the faculty you've seen here in the production. They have jumped or been dragged into this event and done so with class and poise as they know this is for our students. Lastly, I would like to thank Lori Robert, who will be retiring in June, not only for her 29 years of the presentations at the Night of Excellence, but more importantly, for her heartfelt service and dedication to our otters. Thank you.